tonight is Thursday, September the 25th, 2014, <clears throat> and I wanted to show you, encourage you, if you have the desire to do so, to uh, disassemble and clean up your um, bird line section. Uh, these things are not hard to get apart. They consist of, here's the body. I've already disassembled this one, of course. Here's the uh, inner conductor. Try not to tarnish it now that I've got it polished so nicely. It goes back into here. These little shoulders go to the inside. So I'm going to press it back together in just a minute. Uh, two shoulders here. This part right here, the little uh, pickup tab, mounts like that. So they're very easy to disassemble and very easy to clean. Just don't want to lose any of the parts. Um, I use just regular any kind of uh, silver polish because they are silver plated and uh, there you go I, I finished it and there you go look down the barrel of that thing looks like a fine shotgun in there so uh, in connectors you just take the four screws out of the ends both ends pull the uh, quick disconnect or whatever they call them connectors off take a uh, something and be very gentle and then you can just tap one either way and it'll and it'll come apart and then uh, take something you know so that you don't damage it you want to be careful not to damage it and you can get it apart quite easily and polish it right up these things oftentimes are decades old you know that and they get a tarnish on them and the uh, the elements when you put them down in there they uh, if you if you have these things and they use them you noticed it. Oh man, that is that is like brand new. That is slick as glass. It's worth the trouble to clean them up every once in a while. You probably only got to do it every 20 years. But anyway, that's how they come apart. Sometimes uh, I I have seen I have watched many YouTube videos that have encouraged me to uh, do things that uh, I wasn't sure about. But that's how it is. It's just that simple. So let me reassemble it. I'll show you. Actually, before I reassemble it, I want to show you something that will give you confidence. You know that little formula for uh, determining the uh, characteristic impedance of coaxial lines? It's uh, 138 times the log of the diameter ratios. I forgot to write one thing in here. All this is divided by the dielectric constant. Well, the dielectric constant of air is 1, so of course, square root of dielectric constant. So we don't have to worry about this since it's one. The denominator will be one. So the only thing that we need right here, since we're using air or vacuum, is uh, 138 times the log of these diameter ratios. Okay. So let's measure them. For this one, it looks like measuring it in millimeters for my uh, SI viewers. Looks like this one's going to turn out to be about 23. Point 23.76. Hope you can read that. We'll write that down. 23.76. 23.76 divided by diameter of uh, the inner conductor, which is going to be about, we'll call it 10.37. Hope you can read that. 10.37. Ten point three seven. Well, we do the little bit of math here. We get uh, twenty three point seven six. Enter ten point three seven. Ten point three seven. Divide that. We get two point two nine. Now we're going to take the log of that. Shift log base ten. Enter that 138 times 49.69 ohms. Well, that's pretty darn close to 50 ohms, isn't it? So, the reason I'm doing this is to just to verify that those little formulas actually work. Because we know we can bet our bottom dollar that that this is really 50 ohms. So, 
just wanted to go through that little exercise just just for the confidence that uh, that the formula does work let's get it reassembled now well there it is reassembled and like I think I've just shown this is oh that is so slick that is beautiful I'm glad I did that this was getting kind of gummy um, you do need to re you do need to take this off I don't want to lose that little Teflon guy right there you do need to take this pickup off you know that goes right here you do need to remove that if you're going to put it back in one of these uh, one of these holders because if you try to get it in there without it you got to bend it. It, it it just doesn't fit and then uh, reassemble this and lastly, I like these uh, BNC type uh, connectors. I use these uh, outboard ones, outboard line sections, all the time. Much, much more than I do the uh, the one in the in the bird container. And there it is, nice and clean, slick as glass. So you can, uh, if you find one of these and they're nasty, uh, you can clean them up and make them brand new again. They last, uh, they last a lifetime. I don't know how long these things last. Probably a whole lot longer than me. Hope this helps.